Was it divine intervention or karma that checkmated Putin? So much for the Grand Master. That's today's topic from E3 Research Associates, Energy, Equities, and Economics. Putin's threat to freeze the Europeans in the dark during the winter heating season has failed so far. We're only halfway through the winter, but it was due to numerous random chances and the rolls of the dice. The U.S. Gulf of Mexico hurricane season was non-existent until well into September, halfway through the season, and weaker than normal for the second half, allowing nearly uninterrupted loading and shipping of newly available United States LNG liquefied natural gas supply to go into the European natural gas storage for the winter. Alternative supplies from the Middle East Persian Gulf region were able to replace an unexpectedly large share of Russian natural gas for the winter, but both these sources were at about six to seven times the cost, and this is going to have a devastating effect on German heavy industry, but people are not dying of the cold, which the Russians have been counting on. The Northern Hemisphere has had another unusually mild winter so far, leading to far lower demand on natural gas stocks in North America and Europe so far during the winter. Even Ukraine is having an unusually warm winter and not had a day below freezing so far in its bombed out cities that Putin had counted on the usual freezing winter temperatures to create a refugee crisis. In this luckily mild winter, the Europeans were able to collectively reduce their consumption of natural gas home by home with lowered thermostats, for, making heating, for, for heating to make it through the winter and on far less fuel than normal. That's our take so far.